Today is the day. We are looking at infants for the very first time. Big, big thank you to EA for giving me this early access code so that I can check it out. I am freaking pumped. I have disabled Growing Together that is included in this, but I've disabled it for now just so I don't get confused about what's included in the base game update and what's included in the expansion pack. But let's just jump right in. Okay, my name's gonna be bopping around the screen. Try to ignore it. We have to start and create a sim. Look, look at that teeny tiny little guy. Okay, so let's just do a comparison. Toddler, do they look taller to you? Like they look taller to everybody looks a little taller. Like, am I crazy? I don't know, what do y'all think? Do they look taller to you? Cause I feel like they do. Back to infants, look at this cute little outfit. Okay, so here's the voice lighter. That's probably what I sounded like. I feel like I got a deep voice. Your name shall be Project Zero. Oh, 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 the floating heads. Oh my God. We could do without the floating heads. That's really scary. Ew, oh my God, I don't even wanna click them. <laughs> I hate that they're floating. I hate that they're floating. Oh, look at the birthmarks. I saw these in the live stream and they have teeth. Let's just... It's hissing at me. Someone give me a freaking spray bottle. Hey, that was really scary. I don't ever wanna hear that again, just so we're clear. Okay, not a ton of hairs. CC creators, do your thing. Although in growing together, there might be some more. So here are the hairs that we have. One, two, three, four, if you include bald, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one is so cute. I think I'm gonna go with the little pigtails though. They're pretty funny. Hats, oh, shut up. Okay, we've got, this is so cute. We've got the helmet. We've got the bunny ears, bow, and another huge bucket hat. We do have baby glasses that have got shades and we've got normal glasses and these are so cute. They even like wrap around the back of the head. The hair is clipping a little bit, but that's fine. And it's cute. I think babies with glasses are so cute and here are the outfits. Well, here are the full body outfits. So let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. Love it. <gasps> they have patterns on some of them. Oh, the onesie, a classic. Oh my gosh, so formal. Look how many swatches as well. Love the pink suit. We have the little dress with the tights underneath. <laughs> this is my favorite. It looks so soft. The little teddy bear. Oh, they have a pink. Oh, I love. I love every swatch. Oh, there's not a single swatch on that I don't like. Aww. My mom used to dress me like that. So fancy. I always thought we were royalty growing up. We were not. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Oh, love that. Very cute. Next one. Oh, this is probably one of my favorites. I love the polka dots. Oh, the sunflowers. They've got stripes. Another little like onesie. This is the one that she was wearing originally with a little beat. Oh my God, the strawberry, shut up. And the overalls, always a hit. Oh my God, so cute. Okay, we gotta look at the tops. Oh, we've got the button down. She's off to work. What do we got on there? We got some grilled cheese, cow plant, an alien. All of the Sims most popular characters on there. We've got the long sleeve shirt. We've got the collared shirt, the little poofy sleeves, the tank top. Okay, I think I, I recognize some of these from the toddler clothes. Very cute t-shirt, oh, avocado. Yep, more t-shirts, a hoodie with some cute characters on it. Oh, I love the colors on that, it's so cute. Uh, we got another long sleeve and another zip up hoodie. <gasps> oh, the whales. All right, let's keep that on. Oh, so now we can see the bottoms. This is so funny to me. This is so funny. Is that a little skirt? It is. Oh my gosh, this is such a funny view. Accessories, uh, these are leggings. So obviously not gonna put those on. Then we got a little pair of socks. And then we have four pairs of shoes. Cute little sneakers, the dressy shoes. These look like moccasins. <laughs> And then we got the little bear paws, which was so funny. And just double checking, it seems that both the girlies and the boys have the same clothes. So glad we got that settled. Oh my God, they have little paws on the bottom, cute. Next, let's look at their traits. So we have calm, cautious, intense, sensitive, sunny, and wiggly. <laughs> like a little worm. 
Calm, these sims like to watch the world, are less likely to cry or become angry, and don't grow tired of activities as easily as other infants. However, they are less likely to explore the world on their own. Cautious, these sims appreciate the familiar, but are slow to warm up to new experiences, locations, and sims. Intense is these sims have big emotions and are easily entertained, but they are also more difficult to calm when in a bad mood. Sensitive, this would be me. <laughs> these sims are prone to diaper rash, are often picky with food, and can more easily become overstimulated by too much play and social interaction. This is me. However, they also rest more peacefully through the night when soothed. That's me. That's <laughs> the whole thing was just me. Sunny. These sims are bursting with smiles and giggles and enjoy engaging with other sims, but they do require more social interaction. I like that each of them has like a downside and a good side. Like even intense had a good side. And last but not least, Wiggly. These sims are always on the go and want to play and move about. However, they often struggle to fall asleep or pay attention for extended periods of time. That is very funny. Intense. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for Wiggly. Okay, I don't have any of the packs installed, no CC. So I've just made her a mother through the genetics. This is her mom. Okay, you know what? Base game kind of popped off today. She kind of popped off. Man, we have come a long way. All right, so we have Project Zero. This is Mama Zero. Okay, let's bring these bad boys into the real world. Look at this. Oh my gosh, so cute. All right, we are here. We are in the world. And look at her go, little Project Zero. <laughs> wait, so can can she go up the stairs? Get carried here, crawl here. No, 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 wait. I want to see. Okay, she cannot go up there. She cannot. I need to get carried. And now we can go up the stairs. She's free. All right, so let's talk to Project. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have named her Project Zero. Cuddle, comfort, bounce, check infant. Ooh, ooh, we got the new pie menu. Look at this. So friendly, activity, small talk, affection. Comfort and cuddle, read a toddler book. Read a toddler book, this is an infant. Baby care, choose feeding preference. Give Project a nap. Okay. Well, before we do any of that, let's pop into build mode. If we go to kids. Okay, I'm seeing some new stuff in here. So this is one of the new rugs. Oh, that swatch is a, these swatches are so cute, the watermelon. I do also feel like this is new. Also forgive me if I'm like, oh, look at this new thing and it's not new. I haven't played with toddlers in a bit. So like, I'm a little rusty. This is definitely new. Move objects, baby. If we go upstairs, is there like a whole room I can- Yes, one of you has got to go. It's a nursery now. So here's one of the cribs. How much is this crib? 130, not too expensive. So if you're doing a rags to riches, you'll be good. This one's only 150 and this one's really nice. Much more modern. Ooh, I like the colors of it a lot. The lighting in here. I'm gonna be honest, it's really questionable. There isn't, there isn't a light. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Like, look at this. This is probably one of my favorites. That color is so cute. You can upgrade them. Oh, play a lullaby. You must upgrade the crib. You can add a baby mobile, birds, or space. That is so cute. And you can also convert it to a toddler bed for only $50 when they uh, when they grow up. So you don't, even have to, you don't even have to buy it like a whole new bed. I'd actually like to see how that works, to be honest. Look at this, tell a bedtime story, soothe to sleep. Look at this baby. She's like, I am not going to sleep right now. You have lost your mind. And she's like, you're right. I have lost my mind. And no, I haven't. You're going back to bed. <laughs> oh, the kiss. Oh God, the welcome wagon's here. Wait, oh, she doesn't want to be in here. She's like, I'm not tired. Try go night night. Okay, well, while you're chilling in there, I'm gonna check out some more objects. Okay, there's also this toddler bed, which I assume this converts to this, which I'm gonna be honest, it's nice. Like that's a nice bed. It's very modern and sleek. Look at this bad boy. Look at this bad boy. She's fabulous. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. You know this bed, right? Boom. They made it into a crib. So it can match like all of that furniture that they have already in this game. You can just creepily see Eliza out the window with her freaking fruitcake. So you know this bed? Boom. It looks like a prison. <laughs> it's a little baby prison. Okay, so they can play with all of these toys. You see at the bottom it says supports infants. Oh, a new toy. It's so tiny. It's a little rattle. Oh, this one has a heart on it. Delete, I want the heart one. This is little squeak heart. That's adorable. Look at the koala. Oh 
baby care clutter. Oh my gosh, cute. We've got baby wipes, diapers. Look at these, so organized. Baskets. Dude, this is good, just general clutter. Like not even just for babies. Oh, the animals change. Look at that little pig. Oh my God. Oh, my first library. Look at that. Okay, I believe these are new as well. These cute little baskets. Look at the, oh, can't you can change the animal. They're so cute. Okay, I'm actually gonna go downstairs and put a little high chair in here because you can help them try their first baby food. So you can choose through all of these that they've never tried. They experiment with them. They find out whether or not they like them or they're kind of like, I don't know. So let's start with pumpkin. Okay, so they remain an infant for about four days. They don't have any skills and they can't get a job. Okay, we're trying the baby food for the first time. Yay or nay? Yay or nay? Oh, she looks happy about that, I'll be honest. How exciting project oh. love pumpkin oh. puree. It's always, <laughs> oh. it's always nice to discover a oh. new favorite taste and texture. Oh. Okay, so changing tables are included in the pack, not in the base game update. Just found that out. Searched for a lifetime, couldn't find them. There is the sort of changing clutter that comes with the pack, which is really nice because I feel like a lot of this stuff can be used as other things and not just for babies. Like, I mean, this is like, you can use these things for like bathrooms, you know? Like even this is like for a kid's room, that's so cute. So you can also do breastfeeding or bottle feeding. You can choose a feeding preference. I chose to clean up. Oh, with the bubbles? That just happened so fast. I kind of want to see her. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at her crawl. The little laugh is so cute. She's like, I'm just gonna read back here. You just do your thing. Well, this is interesting because I'm trying to think about how this is gonna work in a 100 baby challenge. Usually in a 100 baby challenge, there's like certain criteria you have to meet before you can age them up so it goes faster. So like kids have to learn like certain skills or whatever, and then you can age them up before their birthday or you just wait till their birthday. But I'm like, what can you do with a, an infant? They don't have skills. Like they don't have much. Okay, she's got another toy. Oh, I like, oh, she's just chewing on it. That's so funny. Oh, this is like an actual bookshelf. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of baby books in there. Oh, she can't, okay, she can't get to it. That's my bad, that's my bad. Hold on, I'll help you out. Keep infants and toddlers in an area with baby proofing. Oh, I have to do that right now. If I'm gonna do a baby challenge, I need this. In the safety zone, baby fence. We can lock them in. Baby prison, woo! This is very much giving me like playpen color vibes from like The Sims 3, which makes me really excited. Obviously there is a matching gate. So uh, how the heck does this work? Apply baby proofing. I will. Okay, I'm going in. We're gonna get a book. How are we gonna read to this bit? Where are you reading to this bit? Your child over there. <laughs> How are you reading to this baby? Okay, well we can comfort the child. Oh, we did a little 360 spin right there. Aww, let's talk to her. She's not happy, she's angry. She, oh, she's sleepy. You know what, girly pop? Nobody in this household is gonna be upset right now. I do wanna upgrade this and add, let's do the birds. I wonder how long this takes. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And we can play a lullaby now, any of these? Let's do Hush Little Baby. It's so cute. Wait, is she already asleep? Oof. <gasps> she elastigirled right over that fence. So something else that's new is you can have a science baby as a single parent. Go check out how to have a science baby. Mama Zero will make a quick trip to the hospital and use her genetic material to have a new baby through science. She's having another baby right this second. And it's another girl. We will not be naming this one project. Alexa, sure. Oh, and the baby showed up right in the, oh. Oh my gosh, look at this new pie menu. Okay, let's age up the new baby. Watch this, literally watch. Okay, let me choose a trait. Floats down in a little cloud. Okay, now let's give little Alexa a bubble bath because I desperately need to try this. Do we even have a bathtub? This is like the last thing I need to experience. Obviously there's a lot of other really cool features that come with growing together. So if it feels like we're missing a few things, that's probably where they are. Oh, look at this. 
Is that a loofah? Oh, it's a sponge. Oh, and it's a freezer bunny sponge. I love to see it. Look at the bubbles on her head. That is actually so cute. And whoop, all clean. If you don't change this baby's diaper right now. Oh my gosh, is it happening? All oh, that just went, <gasps> no way. That is giving the Sims 2 bottle situation. There'll be bottles all over the house. Put on in your inventory. Ew. You can drag it around though. So I'm assuming I could drag it, yes, into the trash can. Oh my goodness, that, that's gonna make such a mess. I actually can't wait. <laughs> oh, she's telling her a bedtime story, finally. Oh, she hates it, she hates the story. Oh, and now she's asleep. <laughs> But okay, I think I've covered everything that's coming in the base game update. I hope, I hope I didn't miss something. I know with a science baby, there is an option to choose to do it with another Sim and it doesn't have to be someone you're in a relationship with. I don't exactly know how to do it, but we did have one science baby as a single parent. So that's also very cool that you can do that. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully I covered everything. If I didn't, I'm sorry, but stay tuned. I will be recording some growing together videos as well. So be sure to check those out. Out. Lots more infant content in those, I'm sure. I'm so excited to check it out. But I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye bye.